So we went to Geo Woodstock the end of May, and I wanted to share with you some of the exciting things that we purchased and some of the things that we saw along the way. The journey is, is half the fun. And we made a few stops. We did stop at Field in the Wood. And my daughter picked up this little box. And when you open it, you can look through and it's got the Serenity Prayer. And I thought that was really sweet that that's what she'd wanted. She also picked up a real pretty angel pin. And a pretty little rose medallion token. At the same place, Field in the Wood, of course we walked around and saw some different things. Dave, or Crazy Dave, picked beautiful ties to wear to church. We were real pleased. I bought a special coin from Field in the Wood. And can't show you what's in this box because that is going to be a Christmas present. So we can't show that. We actually were able to do some shopping the way I like to do it. As we saw something that made us think of a loved one, that's what we picked up. So that always makes it fun. We moved on. We, oh, we visited Brass Town. And we went to this little possum shop. By the way, it's home with a possum drop. Yeah, I have no idea. It's different. While we were at the, uh, the possum shop, my daughter just had to get a little possum doll. And it's got some Velcro so it attaches onto her backpack or her purse. Cute little possum. And I think possums are underrated. Did you know they eat ticks? So if your backyard's full of ticks, you ought to be glad to get a couple possums. They are eight times less likely to get rabies than dogs. We moved on to Asheville, which was the location of the Geo Woodstock events. And while we were there, we went to the Folk Art Center. And I picked up a cute little sewing kit. A folk art doll kit. A book on simple living. And that is probably something you're going to be seeing videos on later. Because we'll see what we can do about putting some of that to action. Quilt stories. And that's what I'm, I'm itching to open it up and start reading. The Folk Art Center was absolutely marvelous. While we were there too, I picked up a game for us to play with the kids. It's called Camp and it's got different levels. So you can ask the beginner level. That, you know, what is this? Well, it's a bear. And then you've got more advanced questions so it can grow with us as we gain knowledge. That will fit in beautifully with our homeschooling. My boys picked up some other educational items. So we've got Micro Bright, and they each picked up a book on rocks and minerals. And then also, cute little box of rocks for them to study. They don't know it, but that ought to go in beautifully with our geology session. And because even though they're twins and you can think, well, they can share, no, they're two different people. So we let them each get their own. went up on Mount Mitchell. Mount Mitchell is the highest peak east of the Mississippi. Shelby decided she kind of wanted this little keychain 
and on the back it has a temperature gauge and a compass. So we need to make sure she takes that with us whenever we go geocaching. So we've always got a compass with us. So that was nice. And me and my coins. I had to get another coin from Blue Ridge Parkway. Beautiful roadway. The scenery. And that was my souvenir from the mountains. And these were made from recycled blinds. So I got my bears. And I used and it was from recycled. So that was fun. On the way down from Mount Mitchell, we drove up most of the way. We didn't walk all the way. There was a little shop concession stand. And all of this just looked so good. They had some jellies and honeys and things. So I got Scumpernong. Never heard of it before. But the lady said it kind of had a pineapple taste. It's a grape. And we also got honeysuckle. So that ought to be really good on some biscuits. Saturday, the last Saturday of May, we were at Geo Woodstock, the actual event. I give my daughter with her little coins and her little medallions. It's a dragon. She likes dragons. And it says, you are stronger than you think you are. And I always want her to remember that. She is stronger than she thinks she is. And again, I can't show you these other things. We'll just know that they came from Odyssey Gifts. They were just delightful. So we're going to put those off to the side so we can't see them. So again, those are Christmas presents. That it was just something that made me think of somebody. Nicholas found this wonderful little woodkin from one of the vendors. I am not going to show you the back because it has a code. So it's discoverable. But we'll just kind of lay him right there. Let him just chillax. David Slate Fox found this wonderful medallion. And it's a medal that he can wear around his neck. And he's really had a lot of fun wearing that. Again, I'm not going to show you the back. It's got a code. So if you ever happen to see Slate Fox out and he's wearing his medallion, be sure to ask him to turn it around so you can discover him. And then finally, talk about being a little silly, but I couldn't help myself. I got myself some signal earrings, little frogs. Signal is the official mascot for geocaching. Because of course you do need a signal for your GPS or for your you know for your cell phone. And uh, on the back of those they have a code. Got these from a wonderful lady at uh, at Geo Woodstock. She was a, had a sh little uh, a booth, and she was from Spring Hill, Florida. She was just delightful. When he wasn't looking, I went and got him his Geo Achievement coin for a thousand finds. Crazy Dave's crew has now found over a thousand. So we've got our coin, and it's also got a uh, little pin, and he can wear that as a tie tack if he so desires. Then we also got him a little book for him to put all of his little path tags in. And we've got Tampa Bay Geocaching Store. She was a delightful lady. She's the lady I bought the earrings from. David also picked up, well, we all got one of these. This was an official little geo path tag for attending Geo Woodstock 15. And this was our first Geo Woodstock. And then he also picked up another little path tag. And so that's probably going to go into that little book. And then last but not least, the homeschool mom and me just couldn't help it. Found a lovely book, Constellation Activity Book. So much to my children's dismay, I found schoolwork for them while we were out. So this was our booty from our trip, leaving 
Southern Tennessee, going up to Asheville, Brass Town, Knoxville, Waynesville. So I think we had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of beautiful sights. Increased our number of caches. We even were able to go, drive down into South Carolina to get some caches. We've added a state. And while we were at it, I picked up some very unique items to give us presents. And I can't wait to see their looks when they open them up. Not your usual tourist trap kitschki stuff. This is all things that we're going to be able to use and to remember our first Geo Woodstock. Be sure to like Crazy Dave, Crazy Dave's crew. Visit our website at cdcrew.com and check out some of our other videos. There's going to be one on some other stops that Mom insisted on making, like some Joann's to see different kinds of fabrics. Different stores will have different fabrics and Mama made out like a bandit. Very excited. Lots of plans. Just because we're home from the trip doesn't mean the fun is ending. We can make it fun for a long time. Hope you all are having a wonderful day and hope you enjoyed our video.